Lights, I'm coming to you under my super yellow lights again to bring you a pretty interesting video. I wanted to come to you with my favorites for women of color or darker skin. Um, there's a lot of products out there that, you know, have shade ranges for us, include us in them, but sadly there are probably even more that do not. Um, so I just wanted to share with you through my um, what I want to say, to my journey in collecting makeup and trying things. These are just my favorites for women of color. And what I want to focus on, I have a couple things in here from companies that are like for women of color, but I didn't want to do that because that's easy. You can find those like, all right, a, a company made for women of color, but I wanted to show you guys just some things that aren't necessarily a company that's geared toward women of color, just geared toward every woman and includes us. So that's how I want to do this. Um, I have oily skin if that helps you. I'm an NC50 in MAC. Um, that also helps you. And I also want to include brands where... Like, I love Maybelline, but they're not in here because I'm usually the darkest shade. I want to include brands that go darker than my skin. So that'll help you out as well. Um, I hope, hope I'm pretty organized with it. I hope you guys get what I'm trying to do here. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. Like I said, MAC um, carries a lot of colors. We know this. But they're not in here because they're not my favorite anymore. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with just basic, uh, I guess go in the order of face. Um application so the first thing is primers I have really oily skin so I look for something that is mattifying I'm be honest with you that is 100% mattifying but the thing with that is with usually with us women of color the mattifying primers make us look ashy and a lot of times I cover it up with my foundation but I don't even want to look ashy to begin with but a lot of the primers the mattifying primers make us look ashy but I have three favorites here that do not do that for me alright the first one is the Lorac Perfection Mattifying Face Primer oil free paraben free fragrance free uh, this is about 32 bucks but I know sometimes it goes on sale I think Ulta cleared out the or Lorac got rid of the perfection line so I don't know if you can find this anymore um, but it's an excellent primer if you can I know it's still they still give samples of it uh, it's a clear shade it's really 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 great it's one of the first mattifying primers that actually worked for me so this is a really decent primer all right the next one is the makeup forever step one skin equalizer this um primer base that's a primer um this definitely again mattifies does the same thing it actually works a little bit better than the little rock in my opinion this is like 42 dollars a tube that's why i have the uh small one this one's 16 bucks but it i've had it for a long time and it lasts a long time so i'll probably just replace the small one you know and then I have a drug, drug, <laughs> drugstore option, and this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. This is actually the only one out of the three that's actually white in color, but it does not leave an ashy tint to my skin, and that's I really like that. It actually blends away uh, quite similar to the way lotion would on your skin, and it just, I don't know, but this is the best. I mix this with my Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops to, look at that, nothing. No ashiness. I mix it with my Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops to make a really good matte mattifying foundation, or matte foundation rather. So the Rimmel Stay Matte, this is like three bucks. Really good primer. Really good. Alright, so then I have primer. We're going to go ahead and, while I mention it, it's not really a primer, but we love to have that glow. I have really oily skin. I say it a lot. But sometimes I do like the look of a glow. So I like to add my glow. Though I like to mattify and then add my glow. And so what I'll do is use a mattifying primer and I'll mix my foundation sometimes with some little illuminating type situation. And my favorite for that is actually the MAC Strobe Cream. This is not a new product by far. Come on. There we go. But it does really well at adding a quick little... Uh, bit of luminosity to whatever product you mix it with or you can just put it straight on your face um as like a primer as a first base type of thing and it just let me rub it in and it i don't know if you're gonna catch it you see that glowy yes beautiful all right so we're gonna go ahead so a lot of most of this is face products obviously I have one lip product but and one eye product but it's all face product because we usually can get away with finding lipstick shades finding eyeshadows but the issue is these face products okay so the next thing, the foundations. Um, I have two companies that have a lot of favorite foundations, but two that I feel as though, you know, my people 
can find. Um, and I don't want to offend anyone with this video, anyone with a lighter skin, any any of my Caucasian family members out here, girl, any of my, any other skin, but y'all know the struggle. Y'all know it's real. So, come on. Let's bring it together. All right. So we can help a sister, we can help a sister. All right, the first one being NARS. NARS foundations come in an array of shades, and they, oh my goodness, my favorite foundation is the All Day Luminous Weight, well, actually, it's the only one I've tried, and I love it. The All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. That Don't let that luminous throw you off, because I'm oily skin, and it's like a semi-matte finish. It is beautiful. I'm in the shade Trinidad, and I know there's at least, like, I don't know how many shades darker than me, but I'm not the darkest shade in this foundation, and I really like that. Full coverage, I've had this for a while. If I run out, I'm definitely going to repurchase, but this is a beautiful foundation for us. Check it out. And number one, Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I am not the darkest shade in this either. I am, I don't know, Y535, something like that. Oh my goodness, this foundation is full coverage, but it looks like skin. It's really good for, you know, sitting behind the camera, or in front of the camera, rather. HD, and it kind of just blurs out, kind of like a Photoshop effect, but I really do enjoy it. They have warm and cool tones. That's what I really like, and they have a stick foundation as well. Um, I just pulled out the Ultra HD, the liquid, but they have a stick foundation as well, and I think this one's full coverage. The stick one claims to be full coverage, like, that's what it's advertised as, but I think you can get pretty full coverage with this one as well. And definitely check this out. All right. Honorable mention, it's not a favorite. It's a decent foundation, but definitely not a favorite. But it is from the drugstore, so I wanted to mention it in case you wanted that option. It's not a favorite because it's not as matte as that one. But if you have like a drier skin or you're kind of in the middle of normal skin, L'Oreal Tree Match. They come in a wide array of shades. 33 shades, if I'm not mistaken. Darkest of the dark, palest of the pale. And like they get both of us girls, um, girls and guys on the end of those spectrums that can't find their shade. Um, and then on the top... They have your number, this is N8, and they have N, C's, and W's for neutral, cool, and warm. So it's really good finding your undertone. And, and I just really like that, and I really can appreciate L'Oreal for doing that. Um, again, I'm oily, so this is not the um, most matte foundation. It's not bad, but that's why I didn't put it. It's an honorable mention, but definitely check it out. And they're easy to mix together. If you can't find quite your shade, there's so many shades that you can mix and find a good balance. And they're less than 10 bucks. You can't beat it with the L'Oreal Tree Match. You can't. All right, so concealer, honestly, the number one concealer, women of color, whether you're finding your skin tone or you're going a bit lighter, NARS. I can't. <laughs> um, oh, the Radiant Creamy Concealer. You guys know this has been a favorite of mine since I first laid hands on it. I have like five shades. Um, I have like five shades. So you can see. I don't know where the other one is. I'm missing one. I don't know where it is, but anyway, like five shades here, and then they go darker than this. And, oh my goodness, creamy, this is $29 concealer. Ugh, I do have a drugstore option, but it doesn't go dark enough for us. It's enough enough to brighten. It's the Maybelline Better Super Skin, Better Stay, Better Skin, Super Stay, whatever. But, no, doesn't go dark enough. But, definitely, I mean, you get what you pay for. Definitely, you know, full coverage, transfer proof, creamy, easy to blend, and it's a very good great conceal. I haven't replaced any of these and I had them for at least a year and some change. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, um, I have a couple powders in here and the first powder is the... Where am I? Where am I? Let me calm down. Um... Sorry, trying to get it all together. The first powder, this one is from a brand that is geared toward a little bit women of women of color and this is the black radiant soft focus finishing powder I really couldn't find anything better it only comes in three shades but this powder is so light and uh, it's so light I don't know and sheer it one shade can go for like five shades of skin like you see what I'm saying um oh no please don't be broken please don't be broken Whew. all right um, it's three shades here. I have the lightest shade and the darkest shade here. Um, I've used this on clients darker than me. Um, up to like Lorinda Dark. So yeah, it's definitely fine. It's really sheer. It's really, 
I soft focusing, really HD like powder. It helps with uh, blurring my pores, and I just really enjoy it. I use the lighter one under my eyes pretty much every single day. I don't can't tell you how many of these I've gone through, but they really they're really good. You get a big pan like this for about six bucks. They usually have a dollar off coupon attached to them. So if you need a good powder, check that out. I also have, I have three more powders here. A high end powder. Um, another one is Makeup Forever as well. This is the Duo Matte. When I tell you this powder foundation is the bomb.com. This is my second one. It is the bomb.com. I wear this with some my NARS concealer. Put this all over and you got a full coverage situation. And it lasts all day. It is beautiful. It's great for oily skin. It doesn't, it says Duo Matte though. I just want you to know it's matte. Um, it's a powder foundation, but I mean... You like matte, doesn't matter what your skin type is, it's up to you. But I really do enjoy it. It's smooth. I'm in the shade 218. Now, with this, I'm going to be 100% honest. I think I am the darkest shade. But this powder is so good, I could not not mention it. So that one's kind of eh. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't think about that, actually. It's just so good, I put it in the basket. But I'm like, I think that's the darkest shade. I don't know. What is not the darkest shade, and I thought I would be the darkest shade in it, but I'm like eighth from the darkest shade, is the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. This stuff comes in so many colors, I did not know. This is another one of those, I can just wear my concealer and then top the foundation with it. I mean, I'm sorry, wear the concealer, yeah, and top the top the concealer with this powder foundation and I like to use a buffing brush and buff it in I get the most beautiful natural even skin tone I wouldn't call it full coverage but it's like a medium ish beautiful natural coverage and it I don't know it gives a glow like a glow from within I really enjoy that foundation I think this will look really nice over the strobe cream um, this is warm dark W45 and there's a lot more shades darker than me check out the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. And this, I am so afraid. Um, I mean, I know how they work, but I'm just so afraid to put on a translucent powder. Because of flash photography in our skin, it will show up like nobody's business, okay? I don't care how you buff it out, it always works that way with me. They always make us look ashy. I have found one that does not do that at all. That you don't even know it's there. And that is the Laura Mercier. What's the full name of this? Secret Universal Invisible Loose Setting Powder. I know she has like a secret brightening powder. I may try that. Invisible Loose Setting Powder. This is the small like um, sample powder. This stuff, first off, is so finely milled. I don't know what she has in here or doesn't have in here. That does not give off that ashy flashback. And I really respect her for it. And I enjoy it. And buying the full size is going to scare me. But I don't use a lot of translucent powder anyway. But definitely, us women of color, if you want to get into that, this is the one that I found. Also, there's one by Black Opal. But again, I didn't want to include, you know. But just check that out. Alright, and then our highlights and contour game. Hello. So, I'm going to go through these really quickly. I'll start with my drugstore options. Um, the first one being this NYX Contour. I wasn't going to put this in there. This is a Highlight Contour Pro Palette. Um, the contour shade for me is this darkest one here. But I put it in here. It works really well. It contours. It shows up on skin darker than mine. You have all these other shades that will work for women of color that are a little lighter than me. Um, but I put it in here because NYX sells singles now. They sell contour singles. And you can pop and customize this palette. And they have shades for women of color. So definitely check out this one, okay? The NYX Contour Kit. Because I know I was looking, my issue, my issue was finding a contour shade dark enough for me. That was my issue. Um, and I'm, I've been doing pretty good. The next one, I was surprised. This is the Ulta Contour Kit. I picked it up like when Ulta has their sale. I did not realize these shades here were so dark. Look how dark that is. Like... It doesn't look, nah, that made me a liar. It doesn't look dark up there. But it is contour worthy. Um, and I can actually use the golden one as well to contour. And you have two highlighters and you have two like warmer bronzers. I don't really do bronzer, but, um, yes. So this is like $17. Um, and it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Definitely check that out, ladies and gents. Um, I don't have wipes. Oh, wait a minute. I need a nap. <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm almost done. All right. 
Now, the cream contour and highlight kit I'm going to show you is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. This is deep, in the shade deep. This is for us cream contour highlight professionals. There are two shades in here, so I haven't touched. Professionals. This shade is so dark, almost too dark for me to contour with. But she has also come out with the newer one. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe they're a little bit creamier because these are pretty tough. Not bad tough, but they're thick. Um, she came out with a new set. I guess it's a little bit creamier. And the medium, I swatched the medium and Ulta, and the medium shades were about this dark. So that is great. So if she ever comes out with a deep. Um, but the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour, Cream Contour Kit and Deep. This is if you're really serious about your game, ladies and gents. I keep saying ladies. Gents wear makeup too. And, um, yeah. That works. Alright. Highlight. We need that glow. We love that glow. We already got that glow. <coughs> but we're going to get some more glow. Um, the first, ColourPop. ColourPop makes cream highlights. I am holding Most Necessary. Let me swatch it for you. Oh, boy. Most Necessary. And Avalon. Avalon. Look at those. First off, they're super concentrated right there in the swatch. Okay. So most necessary is on the top, like that rose gold. And then Avalon is at the bottom. Oh my god. Their highlighters. I, they have a lot of shades. I think I have about five. But these two are my favorite. They are such great colors. Such great compliments to our warm undertones. All women of color don't have warm undertones, though. But to our brown skin, our darker skin. Our bronze skin. Let me say that. I don't want to offend anyone. But y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? So those are cheap cream highlight. If you're not a powder highlight person, but if you are a powder highlight person, I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. My favorite is Gold Deposit. With us women who do have warm undertones, the warm gold deposit. I got enough gold as it is. I'm actually wearing this highlight today <laughs> with all my other gold. Max Mineralized Skin Finishes are beautiful. And you know what? I don't look at just the golden ones, the dark ones. I'm thinking about getting soft and gentle and playing with it. Soft and gentle is a really pale, like, iridescent. It's beautiful. I'm going to check it out. And then Becca. Um, a lot of people give crap to Champagne Pop because they say it's not women of color friendly. I love Champagne Pop. Becca's highlighters are beautiful. My favorites. The next item is a blush. Well, not a blush. A brand of blushes. Honestly, there's a lot of blushes in the drugstore. There's a lot of brands of blush. Even the brands that are formulated for women of color. My favorite brand of blush for women of color is MAC. MAC's blushes are gorgeous. I'm holding here in my hand. This is Raisin. It's a beautiful matte warm tone. Um, I don't know. They have the best color selection of blush, neutrals, you know, pinks, reds, darks, lights, dark shades deep enough to contour with, like Film Noir, beautiful shade, um, purple blush, sketch, it, oh my gosh, it's beautiful, and they always come out with new collections, and have new blushes, and new cream blushes, and different things, so really with an update, to keep getting the newest blushes pushed out, like MAC is the bomb with that. If you want a cheaper alternative, check out the Coastal Sense Forever blushes, I didn't mention them, like, it's an honorable mention, uh, the Coastal Sense Forever blushes are really, really nice as well. Would you, you can go to a, Coastal Sense is online, you can go to a MAC store and get, you know try out the blushes. I'm going to try to link everything I mentioned down below. If I forget something, forgive me, but I'm going to try to link where you can buy these things. Alright, and then that's all the face products. I do have two um, products that are eye and lip and I didn't, like I said, I didn't go into that because the face products are usually the issue. Um, but the brand I think in the drugstore that has the best lipstick choices for women of color is Milani. Milani's lipsticks, um, I have two here. 
they come in so many shades. They come from the palest of the pale pink to so the deepest of the browns and purples and reds and beautiful nudes. This is a pinky nude and it's in the shade Naturally Chic. Oh, it's beautiful. It's not really nude, pink. Um, beautiful browns. This is Violet Volt. Purples are our thing. Yes, Milani by far. $5.99, you can find pretty much any shade you're looking for. They have the new matte lip creams. If you can find those and gather those up, really nice. There are a lot of lipstick companies, a lot of lipstick brands in the drugstore that are good. Um, Maybelline, their whole color sensational line is beautiful. But I think just old school, like, that's been around the, the not the longest, but like just, I don't know. I don't feel, I feel like they haven't changed a lot, is those Milani lipsticks. So... Yes. And then finally, for eyes, if you are a warm skin girl, woman of color, or um, olive skin, hell, cool tone, um, more cool tones will lead to more cool tone shadows, but more warmer tone, women of color, you know, y'all know what I'm saying. I ain't got to keep explaining myself. My number one eyeshadow palette pick on the high end side. Drugstore side, you got to play around with. There's not that many options, but high end side, um, it was a fight between this one and the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. But I'm gonna have to go with this one because there's a little bit more shimmery shades in it and the organization of it is awesome. And it is the Lorac Pro One. If you are a warm skin, y'all know the family, you get a top row of mattes, and I've used them all, top row of mattes, and then you get a bottom row of shimmers. This Lorac Pro One, this, oh my God, the Pro Shadow quality is by far the best shadows I've ever experienced. They are beautiful. Uh, buttery, soft. Like, I just stick my fingers sometimes in these shadows and play with them. I know it's wasting product, but you can't help but touch them. I de definitely recommend It's a great investment. Beautiful transition shades in that taupe, in that sable, even espresso. You're doing a smoky eye. You got black. You got a slate gray, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, yes. You, and you have a gold. Gold looks good. Always. On anyone. Light bronze. Champagne. That pewter is great. The garnet. Oh my god. All of them in this Lorac Pro palette. I definitely recommend. If you're looking for a high-end palette to start with, I definitely recommend. So guys, those are my picks as of right now for my picks, favorite picks for women of color, those things that I feel like that'll work and that are great. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave them down below. I love you all and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.